Hi Pisces, welcome to your reading. This is gonna be for the month of August. It is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, guys, definitely check out those other placements. Okay, sorry, I gotta clear something off the screen. <laughs> Apologize for that one. <clears throat> so we're gonna get into your current energy, the near future, what you don't see coming, and then what Spirit wants you to focus on for this month. We'll clarify that. Once we clear that spread, we're gonna get into your person's energy, whoever's on your mind your energy, the uh, possible outcome, as well as the Romance Angels and the Oracle cards. I uh, just want to say a big shout out and thank you to everyone who has been here. Thank you for all of your support. And to all of you that may be new, I appreciate you stopping by. I hope you'll stay. All right, so if you'd like a personal reading, I do those as well. That information's in the description box below. All right, let's get into your energy. This is for Pisces. Feel the need to shuffle again. If I didn't say it already, it is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches this. Okay, let's see. Hopefully something does. We have the Six of Wands. Well, that's a great start. Then we have the Four of Cups, the Hierophant. Now in the near future, we have the Two of Pentacles in reverse with Justice and the Seven of Wands in reverse. Then what you don't see coming is the Two of Wands, the Devil, and the Ace of Pentacles. What Spirit wants you to focus on? The Magician, the Death in Reverse, and the Ten of Wands. Now the overall energy, <laughs> it's you. So the Moon in Reverse. This to me is actually really good. I feel like you're opening up this month. So if you felt like you've had to hold back or you just kind of needed to keep to yourself for a while, you could be going through some major transformations. Water signs, obviously, you deal with the moon cycles. Things are a little bit deeper for water signs on an emotional level. Uh, it feels like really coming out of a place of almost hiding is what it feels like. So even if it's just for a couple of days you were doing that, it doesn't have to be that you were doing that for six months or so. But you do seem to want to kind of open back up. Now, do I feel like there's anything being hidden from you right now? No, I don't sense that. With the moon, sometimes that can come about. I just feel like this is just you, your energy and wanting to get out and have some fun. So August could really be based around feeling good about where you are in your life right now, things that you've accomplished by pulling back your energy, and August is kind of a time to celebrate. That's what I feel like. The Six of Wands, very much about that. This is accomplishments, feeling good, um, feeling like you've made it. In a sense that's what I want to say this is standing up and cheering for yourself as well now it could also be that you feel like you've finally met someone even if it's just started off slow and I say finally because a lot of Pisces have been single for a bit maybe you feel like things are finally starting to move forward it may seem like a little bit of a small offer but with the Hierophant this seems like a higher type of commitment a higher level of connection Something feels like really genuine about it. So I love that because you seem to be opening up after a time of difficulty. So if some of you have been coming out of relationships or ending marriages, even if it's been a couple of years, coming out of that, you know, it takes time. Nobody gets over things overnight. So if you've come out of a tough situation, this to me really feels like you're getting to that place where you want to move forward. Now, <clears throat> two things I want to say. This could be somebody that really is attracted to you that started to come towards you and has shown you just a little bit and you're not 100% sure, but there's a feeling. Something just feels right. If you're in a current relationship, meaning you've met and you know stayed in one the last year or so and you're just kind of curious what's going on, it does feel like your partner might be holding back a tad. If you're wondering if they're going to propose, I'd say give it some time. That's for somebody. Yes, do I think the relationship's going to be successful and move towards marriage? I do. But right now it's just not the time. Um, that's this. If there's one secret that's being kept, I'm going to say some of you may get proposed to within the next six months. All right, so we'll post some clarifiers on that. Now... The Two of Pentacles in Reverse with Justice and the Seven of Wands in Reverse. 
this is actually um, not wanting to tolerate. I feel like you got justice in a situation where somebody might have been juggling you. You were super vulnerable. You opened up. Um, and maybe somebody played with your heart. That's what it feels like. For some of you, that definitely happened. And somehow, some way, you feel a sense of justice. For others of you, it feels like not having to go back and forth in your own mind about how do you find balance in relationships when you've been the one that's vulnerable and other people haven't been. So finding balance in that for yourself be as vulnerable as you feel comfortable. We always talk about the boundaries versus the borders. In other words, creating those boundaries is, is great. With justice, you've done that. You found a way to even out the playing field is what I'm hearing. So you can still be the vulnerable, sensitive person that you are without feeling like someone's going to take advantage of you. Now, I just heard something about a job situation where you may have put yourself in a vulnerable position. In other words, you applied for something maybe you weren't sure you were ready for, or you may not have been completely qualified, but you took your chances anyway. You're like, yeah, let me, let me go ahead and do this. I don't care. I'm going back and forth about whether I should or not. And I think you may actually find out that you get it. Like, it doesn't matter if you're not fully qualified. It's about who you are and the type of person and how you show up. So that's for a few of you. We'll clarify that in just a moment as well. Okay, so what you don't see coming, the Two of Wands, the Devil card, and the Ace of Pentacles, where things couldn't get moving. Remember I said there's a possibility that this job opportunity is going to show up and it's going to be for you, or you just decide to apply for it even though you, know, you couldn't possibly see yourself getting it, or it's just not as likely for you. So the group of you or some of you that that might be happening for, you just don't see it ha you don't see it coming now another thing i would say is that you're going to be turning your back on some stinking thinking is what i want to say so instead of keeping yourself stuck and not being able to move forward let's say you have an idea for something this feels like i know that i really want this in my future but there's still a little bit of that can i should i Will I? Will it be successful? That kind of thinking. I don't necessarily feel this is toxic energies. It could be. It just doesn't feel that way to me right now. It just feels like something that you really want to get started will happen because you're going to be releasing this type of energy. Your mind's not going to be going in circles anymore and you're actually going to trust yourself and say, you know what, I'm going to take a leap of faith and do this because I know that this is what I want in my future. Okay, so... Let's get into what Spirit wants you to focus on. Just what I was talking about. This, whether it's a job or even it could be a relationship. What you've manifested, what you want to manifest if you haven't already, is someone who's gone through some type of transformation like you have. If they haven't finished and or are not open to it, you may not be interested in that because you realize that when people haven't done the work, that it can be a real burden on a relationship. Now you could be dealing with, let's do the signs really quickly. I've got Taurus, Libra, Capricorn, Pisces, Scorpio, and a lot of fire. So Leo, Sag, and Aries. Uh, yeah, that's the strongest energy. So to me, this is actually going through a little bit more of a transformation as well to release some of these burdens. You're walking away from that. So if you haven't completed it, you're all on different timelines. You're getting to that place. Spirit wants you to keep focusing on that because you're completing this. It's almost over. You're moving away from it, leaving it behind. I like that. So focus on your manifestations. You don't have to keep your mind constantly on your spiritual journey. Yes, keep doing your work but don't let it burden you in the process. Okay. Let's clarify the Six of Wands with the Four of Cups. All right. So I just heard that there might be, again with work, you might get an offer, but it may not pay as much as you had expected. It may not make you as, as happy, but I do think that 
it will grow as you go. So with the four cups, that's like, it starts out one way and then it adds up, right? All right, so then we have the six of wands in reverse, which is just kind of a mixed energy. And then the 10 of swords and the lovers in reverse. So yeah, we've talked a lot about exes for you guys. This is that back and forth energy I felt with somebody who breadcrumbed and wasn't there for you, didn't offer you everything and just left you feeling completely abandoned. That is ending. Now, for some of you who are going through a divorce, there's the energy of feeling victorious outside of that. Could have already happened for you, but some of you may be going through this now and you're realizing that you're kind of back and forth. Like, I thought this was going to work. It's not going to work. I feel really betrayed. I need to get out of this. This person just doesn't bring what I need to the table. So that's just going to be for some of you. Others of you, again, this is just energy of being done with things that don't work. If it doesn't work, you're going to walk away a lot quicker than you used to in the past. That's what happens when we start shifting. We just don't tolerate the same types of things for as long a period of time as we did in the past because we realize now, not only do we realize our worth, we realize, oh, okay, I know what, why this happened. I know why this showed up in my life. That makes sense. Oh, this again, that type of energy. All right. And that was definitely around relationships. So it's just being tired of dealing with them, but looking at them from a higher perspective is what I'd say. All right, so we've got the Two of Pentacles in reverse with the Justice card. Then we have the Wheel of Fortune, perfect. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles, amazing. So the world in reverse just tells me that this cycle is closing and another one is opening. The Wheel of Fortune, great things are coming. You've made good decisions about allowing yourself to continue to be vulnerable, but stable. So that's when things start to pay off. Saturn and I don't, I don't do astrology, but I do know some of what's going on. This is like, and it's, I just want to say karmic rewards. So where you've stayed strong and steady, like the queen of pentacles, that's what's given you the justice. So if you haven't seen some type of reward, I feel like in August, you're going to start seeing how things improve because you allow yourself to still be you vulnerable. You're not going round and round in your head and you're not allowing people to juggle you. You've put up proper boundaries, which gives you justice in situations. You've stayed stable through this and now you're going to get rewards. Okay. And this one cycle's ending and another one is beginning. All right. So the two of wands with the devil card. We've got the five of wands. And then we have the King of Pentacles, the Six of Cups. So you could have been dealing with someone in the past that had some toxic energy. It just felt like there was a lot of arguing and fighting, even though this person had stable energy. Let's release them and let's talk about what you don't see coming. This is getting rid of this internal battle around any kind of toxic behaviors that had happened because where you had fears about moving forward, you're no longer going to have them. This energy could be a new boss in your life because you attract much better. Let's say you're applying for something and you feel really good about it. Your energy is really great. You put that out there when you apply for a job and this boss is going to see that. They're going to pick up on your energy, even if it's just in your resume. You'd be surprised how things work. Spirit's pretty crafty in that way. If this is a relationship, this is you seeing beyond the internal conflict that you have with any kind of toxic thinking. So the spiral mind, I keep wanting to say, you're going to be moving beyond that. So you don't see that yet. Maybe this is a pattern that you've had for quite some time. And that's what stopped you from wanting to really push forward. But you're going to be releasing that energy. August is going to be very freeing, it feels like, for Pisces. Now, you could also meet somebody brand new, an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. And that's what you don't see coming. If that's the case, this is someone that you don't have to deal with these types of energies. Now, if you've met someone and they are toxic and argumentative and you've decided that you don't want to move forward, you could be seeing them for who they are come August. So it could go either way. All right. 
Let's do the, oh, the, I'm sorry, the Six of Cups as well. This is energy of someone from the past. It could be just nostalgic memories or even people who trigger things from the past. So that could be some of the toxic things that are going to be released because somebody could come into your life for a very short period of time um, and trigger those things for you and they get released. All right, so let's clarify the Magician and the Death card in reverse. This is for Pisces. So we have, again, the Magician. So lots and lots of manifesting. This is what Spirit wants you to focus on, the Two of Pentacles, and then the Lovers in reverse. So putting all of that behind you, manifest, manifest, manifest. Actually, set your intentions is what I really feel like saying. Going through this shift, change, Something recently could have changed because you manifested it and you did maybe you didn't expect it. And now you're like, wait a minute, my ships are actually coming in, but your back's kind of turned to it. Like you don't quite see it. It's because you found balance in your life through these changes. You've manifested big change and that's put you in a position where things are starting to come towards you and it's helping you release some of the stresses or burdens that you've been carrying with you for some time. The spirit just wants you to continue to focus on that. Basically, Big pat on the back, you're doing a great job. All right, I'm gonna clear this and get into your person and your energy. So think about them for just a second while I clear this. If you see dirt on me, sorry. I was out power washing earlier. <laughs> All right. Let's get into your person's energy. This is for Pisces. All right, guys, your person's energy, we have the Fool in Reverse, the Ace of Swords, the Five of Swords in Reverse, and the King of Wands. Your energy, the Queen of Swords in Reverse, the Hermit in Reverse, Three of Pentacles, and then the Four of Pentacles, and then the Queen of Wands. So this is two people who seem to hold back a little bit, don't want to open up, cautious is what I'd say. So you're both in reverse, the king and the queen, because I'm going to take this as your energy, and then the emperor's in reverse. So neither person is particularly interested in controlling the situation. There's just a need to get a little bit deeper. Maybe if this is somebody you've been with for a while, I feel like you need to connect on another level. Maybe that just hasn't happened yet. The fool, this is someone who doesn't want to take chances. In other words, they don't move forward um, without thinking things through. The Ace of Swords mean they, they, they wanna get clarity. This is also someone who believes in traditional, like I want my partner, my equal, I want things to be balanced. So they want a new beginning. If this is somebody from your past that you might be expecting to speak up, do I sense they're gonna to come towards you? They do still want a new beginning with you. They just don't wanna make a fool of themselves. Now they don't wanna argue and fight. They wanna put their swords down but they're not going to be, you know, re they're not going to get deep. Let's put it that way. So if this is somebody you're just recently dating, they're just taking things slow. They don't want to open up too quick. I don't think they're hiding anything. They just want to be really clear about what their intentions are. So clarity is great. You know, even if they're someone who dates multiple people, as long as they're honest, whatever, you get to choose, right? So if this is somebody from the past, they're still not going to be open. So if you're expecting something a little bit different, I don't think that's going to happen. But I, I definitely think they want to come towards you. Don't think they have. And I'm not going to say that there's any time frame that I feel that they're going to come towards you. Now, your energy towards a past person closed off. I, I don't think you want to open up to that. Right now, you haven't spoken your truth. There's a part of you that kind of needs to go within and really make sure you know what you want. If this was a marriage... Um, Maybe there's some things that still need to be worked out and you could have separated and decided to get back together or you're thinking about getting back together. I'd say be cautious that there's just a message for somebody about that. If this is for um, a past person, you might have thought that this person was um, doing something shady. That can be a, th a third party for me or just other people were constantly involved in your relationship. Now with the Four of Pentacles, to me, this says you're going to be holding back. So you're not going to want to give of yourself too much 
period. You're not going to want to expose yourself. Even if this is somebody you've been with for a while, I feel like you're just holding back. There's something about you needing to speak up, though, and speak your truth if you're in a relationship. If it's somebody from the past, I'd say the same thing. Now, if this is somebody brand new and you're just getting to know them, I think you're just holding back until you get to know them a little bit better because you want to make sure that they aren't also, if you've dealt with third parties in the past, in one as well. Okay. Let's get the Romance Angels and then we'll do a possible outcome for you. This is for Pisces. We have You Deserve Love, of course. Pay attention to the red flags. Yeah, I kind of picked up on that. It is safe for you to love. Release your ex. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So for those of you who have been with me for a bit, we have talked quite a bit about there was somebody from the past. There is with a lot of most of the signs, right? We all have exes. In your case, I think there was some time where you needed a break and you needed to realize that somebody else's projections and behaviors did not mean that you weren't lovable, you do deserve love. We all do. And sometimes I think we question, like, is there ever going to be somebody who actually sees my worth? And for those of you that you've been through that, I feel you. Um, it sucks, but you're getting to that place. Now, pay attention to the red flags. I did say I wasn't 100% sure about this person. I feel like they're holding back a bit. If this was your ex, it may be time to release that energy completely just so that you can free yourself up and it, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So for those of you that are healing, I know it's tough. You know, those of, th listen, there's so many of you, I can't possibly please everyone. I do want to say that if you are releasing still, that yes, everybody takes their own time to get over something. It is time to let that go because great things are coming for you guys, for everyone. But for those of you who have done the work, meaning you've really paid attention, <laughs> actually, sorry, I'm going to share this with you guys. I had somebody say, oh, I didn't realize doing the work meant that I just don't give a anymore. Well, no, that's not really it. The opposite of love isn't hate, it's indifference. So if you can get to a place where you feel indifferent towards someone from your past, sorry, little dissertation really quickly, that's when you've really accepted it from a spiritual level and just decided to move on and move into something better for you. Okay, let's see what the possible outcome is. If this is somebody new, you definitely want to release the energy of your ex if it's still lingering a little bit. That's normal. I don't care who you are and if you tell me how much you hate them and they're they're done from your life, they their energy still lingers a little bit. All right, especially if you're still hating on them. The Page of Wands in reverse, the Sun card, the Tower, and the Five of Cups. And then we have the Five of Wands. There's a lot of internal work with this. Now, it could be that somebody feels like they have to compete for your attention, and it's it's really tough for them. Right now, it seems to me that somebody needs to either make the first move, um, or something about making the first move, if that's with somebody from the past. Now, if this is somebody you're currently dating, you may find that they move slowly. Are they excited about it? Yes, I do think that there could be a great outcome. This could be something completely different for you. So this is gonna shatter all those old beliefs that you had about relationships or the things that you've gone through that have been tough. So this is gonna be a huge change. This is not somebody who holds back emotionally. In other words, this is not someone who's out to hurt you. This isn't a lesson. This is going to be the blessing, not the lesson. All right, so that's a good outcome. All right, let's see. I keep saying all right. We've got the Lover's Oracle. We'll get a couple of those for you, and we're almost done. All right, so this is the one they're picking. Passion and magnetic and seductive quality surround you at present. Enjoy it. And then we have, close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Okay. Last but not least, let's get a couple of messages from Spirit with the wisdom of the Oracle. This is for Pisces. We have breathe, clean it up, 
fork in the road, soulmates, and round and round. For those of you, you know, I don't want to keep repeating this in every reading that we do each week or month, but yes, that cycle, that round and round cycle, I feel like is closing out. You're not going to be repeating the same type of relationships. Breathing through it, uh, this reduces to an 11. So you may feel like, which they are, they're all soulmates in a sense, that this was a soulmate, um, possibly a twin flame, but we know that those aren't the healthiest of relationships always. Now this is to breathe your way through it. You could be meditating a lot, which is super helpful. Now clean it up. This is cleaning out all the cobwebs, the dust, and all the things from the past and releasing that stuff. This reduces to a three, which is all about balancing your mind, body, and soul. Um, fork in the road. So you may have a decision to make about which way to go. Could be about the job situation we talked about, or it could be in choosing if you want to continue in either of the relationships we discussed. And then soulmates. So yes, I do feel like no matter what, we, we always find a soulmate. They all are in just different levels, right? So when this one to me says this is the one you're going to mate with for the rest of your life. So whoever that person is for you that you feel really strongly about, that's the one I'd say you're going to be with and you're going to move forward um, together. Yeah. Okay, guys. Sorry, a little fuzzy. I hope that helped. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. I hope you have a beautiful month and I will see you in next week's reading. Take care. Lots of love. Bye.